cycle into another cycle. Let's look at Paul Davies. There is no conflict in a universe that evolves according to a well-defined law of physics, but is nevertheless subject to the intelligent control. God is portrayed as an explanation of supernatural agency acting on the world in defiance of natural law. You see it all the time. Well, a person, oh, God will heal them. Oh, you got to say, oh, God will do this, God will do that. But it's possible for what we encounter in the universe to be the product of intelligent manipulation of a natural kind within the laws of physics. Aha. Uh -huh. Staying inside of the created law, manipulating us as such. Our galaxy could have been made by a powerful mind. Where do you hear this? Think about it. Now, but, uh, think about it. Here's we. We've been inventing things for a hundred years. What about people in another place in the universe that have been inventing things for 40,000 years? And so what happens? Our galaxy could have been made by a powerful mind who rearranged the primeval gases with controlled explosions as an astro engineer. But would such a superintelligence be God? I wonder if there was a guy named Fred who was an astro engineer on some faraway planet and they're 40,000 years ahead of us and Fred comes in one day in the meeting in the boardroom and said, hey, guess what? What? He said, I got this figured out. If we put this, that, and the other thing together, it could actually puff into a galaxy. You sure, Fred? Yeah, let's try it. He tries it, he got a galaxy. Fred, congratulations, you're going to get this year's Christmas bonus. You got a whole galaxy out there, Fred. And Fred says, yeah, but you know what? Down here, there's that, that there's a planet there with the sun around it that I made. <laughs> Why don't we fly down here and see what it's like? So Fred and the guy comes down, and they land there. And they start messing around with DNA. You're praying to God, and his name is Fred. And you know the funny thing is? That may be true. 